Hello friends, today I am again back with another problem on effective isotropic radiated power <coughs> EIRP. So let's begin with the problem. Here a parabolic reflector antenna having the antenna efficiency 85%. We have a parabolic reflector antenna. If this is an antenna then here is parabolic reflector and the efficiency of this antenna is 85% now it is designed for the frequency of 3 gigahertz that is the frequency of operation is 3 gigahertz that means 3 gigahertz that is 3 into 10 to the power 9 hertz from this equation we can find the wavelength operation wavelength that is c by f we know that the velocity of light is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second and the frequency of operation is 3 into 10 to the power 9 hence the wavelength of this operation is 0 0.1 meter and the other term we have here is with 2.5 dB waveguide loss we have the waveguide loss of 2.5 dB and here I am going to indicate the loss with L 2.5 dB find out the antenna diameter we don't know what is the diameter of the antenna if effective isotropic radiated power E I rp is given to be 46 db w and here we have another term and transmitting power is 500 watt that is p transmitting is equal to 500 watt we might need this term in terms of decibel so i am going to convert this term into decibel so 10 log 500 which is equal to 26.98 decibel watt now here we have new term called EIRP that is effective isotropic radiated power to understand this I have here something for you here we we might come across two term ERP and EIRP that is effective radiated power and effective isotropic radiated power this both term are similar term but one of them compares the uh, that is real antenna actual antenna with the dipole antenna while EIRP compares the actual antenna with the isotropic antenna so here it is the total power in watt that would have to be radiated by half wave dipole antenna to gain same radiation intensity as the actual source at a distance receiver located in a direction of strongest beam suppose we have a real antenna here suppose i have a real antenna here and the direction of strong beam is towards this direction if I replace this, this is actual antenna. Actual antenna. If I replace this antenna with the dipole antenna and I wish to generate this radiation, radiation pattern from this dipole antenna, then I need a certain power to run this dipole antenna. And this power is the effective radiated power while if i replace this antenna with the isotropic antenna this is uh, for erp we need to replace the antenna with dipole antenna whereas for the eirp effective isotropic radiated power i need to replace the antenna with the isotropic antenna and to generate the same radiation pattern in the direction i need a certain power certain strength and this strength is the eirp effective isotropic radiated power and 
the relation between ERP and EIRP can be obtained using this equation that is half well dipole antenna has a gain of 1.64 compared to the isotropic radiated power so if I multiply ERP with the 1.64 then I obtain EIRP in term of decibel this formula become this <coughs> now I might need EIRP in term of relation between transmitter and output power so EIRP is the summation of power transmitted gain of the antenna minus the losses uh, that might be waveguide losses so I have from this relation we have here EIRP now EIRP is equal to power transmitted plus gain of the antenna minus losses so 46 is equal to 26.98 plus we don't have gain here so I write G minus losses that is 2.5 so from this I obtain the gain of the antenna to be how much 21.52 dB and I also want to convert this this is in decibel form but I also convert this into general form that is gain is equal to 10 21.52 by 10 which is equal to 141.9 this is in general form and this is in decibel form so we obtain your gain but what we need is the diameter of the antenna so i am again going to another relation that is <coughs> we know that there is a certain relation between gain and effective aperture and i also want to explain you about aperture efficiency that is aperture efficiency is equal to effective aperture by physical aperture of the antenna effective aperture is the area of the antenna which can derive the message signal into its original form that all the all the area of the antenna will not be fully used so effective aperture is that area which is fully used by the antenna for the replication of the message signal so effective aperture by physical aperture is the aperture efficiency of the antenna we know that effective aperture is gain lambda square by 4 pi and i consider the uh, antenna to be dix antenna because that is parabolic reflector and the area of the dix is pi d square by 4 hence the gain of the antenna is equal to efficiency into pi d square by lambda pi d by lambda ko all square so we have here the relation of gain and by using this equation we can find the diameter so gain is equal to efficiency into pi d lambda square now the efficiency of the antenna is equal to 0 0.85 0 0.85 we know the value of pi and diameter is d and the operation wavelength we have found here 0 0.1 meter and the gain of the antenna is equal to uh, this equation is in general form so I use the general form you can also use the decibel form by converting this equation into decibel in general form the value of gain is 141.9 that is 141.9 so solving this equation I can find the diameter of the antenna and this is 0 0.42 meter
सो दिस माइट हेल्प यू टू सॉल्व दिस काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग